How's it going guys and girls? Welcome back to Icarus XP. My name is Callum X and today I'm going to look at the potbelly stove and why you need to learn this. This is on the tier 2 tech tree and it has got some awesome super foods inside that will give you some super buffs. So I'm going to look through all the foods that are inside it obviously so that you can see what's coming up. I'll do some more in-depth videos on the foods themselves later on but yeah if you find this one useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment underneath let me know what you think and if you want more like it obviously subscribe anyway so potbelly stove a wrought iron stove for heating where should we start first of all let's start in the tech tree where it is it is here behind the cooking station so you have to learn the cooking station first which is where you make uh, other foods but not these ones and then the potbelly stove is just above it so I'm going to learn that one now. So I've got it available to me. Uh, as you can see, you need iron ingots, copper ingots, and copper ingots and epoxy to craft it. Once you've crafted it, it will be lovely and beautiful just like this. And let's have a look inside. So over here on the top left, this is where our recipes are. I'm just going to go through them individually. So water, if you have ice, if you're in the ice biome, then obviously you can bring ice in here and you can actually create water with it. Uh, you can make charcoal out of spoiled meat. Uh, not sure why you'd do that when you can just use a fire. But anyway, you can. So you can make charcoal out of spoiled meat. Uh, cooked prime meat. So occasionally you get these from bears. And more regularly, but still not every time from polar bears. So I'd love to actually hear from you on this one, guys, in the comments underneath. How often you seem to get raw prime meat and what animals you've got it from. So that's that's a cool thing. Let me know in the comments underneath or jump into Discord and let us know there. But anyway, so raw prime meat, which is plus 30 health and plus 150 food, uh, provides the cooked prime meat modifier for 1,200 seconds when consumed, which is uh, 20 minutes. By the way, guys, 20 minutes. Uh, consumes one space in your stomach. Uh, 100 maximum stamina, 150 maximum health, 20 health regeneration per minute. So your health is going to regenerate 20 extra per minute, which is good. And you're going to get 5% more experience as well. So, but you need to cook this stuff. So when you, if you haven't found raw prime meat yet, if you do, you need to cook this stuff straight away. Like go cook it. It goes off. It spoils so quickly, guys. Spoils so quickly. Anyway, I don't want to hold you guys up all day. So let's move on to the next one, which is sweet corn soup. Now this is really easy to make. Okay, just water and corn. Corn is quite uh, abundant, to be honest, around Icarus at the moment. So corn and water, very easy to make. 100 foods, so gives you, fills your stomach up, obviously. Um, provides you with the corn soup modifier for 900 seconds when consumed. So this is 15 minutes, guys, okay? Uh, consumes one space in your stomach, just like all foods. Plus 75 max stamina and minus 20% stamina consumed by action. So the minus 20% stamina consumed when you're doing things, that's good, right? That's that's really going to help. Plus 75 max stamina isn't the best. That's not the best food that you can get, but it is extremely cheap to make. I mean, it's just a piece of corn. So, uh, so yeah. So that's that one. Next one is the mushroom soup. Okay, now this one... Again, gives you 100 food when it's consumed, requires just mushrooms and water, provides the mushroom soup modifier for 15 minutes, 900 seconds. When consumed, takes one space in your stomach, gives you, again, 75 maximum health, but only plus 10 stamina regeneration. So your stamina is going to regenerate 10% faster. Okay. Ooh, next one, the stew. Now you're going to need mushrooms, raw meat, and carrot and water. All right, for this one, 100 food again when consumed. Gives you the stew modifier for 15 minutes when it's consumed. Uh, takes one space in your stomach. This one's a good one. 150 max health, 75 max stamina, 10% stamina regeneration. So your stamina is going to regen faster. So you are going to have more of it and it's going to regen faster. As well as health going to regen faster too. As well as projectiles are going to do 10% more damage. So using like an, a bow and arrow, for example. You're going to get 10% extra damage on that one by eating this one. But don't forget, don't forget you can stack these, everybody, as well. So if you were to make four of these, you could stack all of these perks all up on top of each other. And be like freaking Superman. Anyway, next, soybean stir fry. Again, you need mushrooms on this one. Carrots and soybeans, okay? 100 food when consumed provides the soy fry modifier. For 900 seconds, which is 15 minutes when consumed, takes one space in your stomach, 150 extra health, 75 max stamina, 
10% projectile damage, so you're going to do more damage with bow and arrows, like I said. 10% stamina regen, so you're going to regenerate your stamina faster, and 10% health regen as well, so you're going to regen your health faster too. All right, very cool. Uh, soybean stir fry. Mushrooms. Any of you guys know where the mushrooms are? Let me know in the comments. Fish curry. Animal fat, soybeans, and raw fish are going to be what you need for this one. Sounds absolutely disgusting. But let's see what it gives you. 100 food. The fish curry modifier for 15 minutes when consumed. Takes one space in your stomach. This one gives you 225 max health. That's freaking awesome. Okay. 10% health regeneration 10 percent stamina regeneration as well so you're going to get your health and your stamina back faster but 225 points extra health that's massive guys all right so that's the fish curry animal fat soybeans and raw fish next is roast vegetables uh you need pumpkin squash and carrots squash are more difficult to find than the other two but uh but yeah so you need those three Again, it's going to give you 100 when it's consumed. It's going to give you the roast vegetables modifier for 15 minutes when you've done it. It's going to take one space in your stomach up. Again, 225 max stamina. Awesome. 10% uh, exposure resistant and 10% melee damage. So you're going to do more damage. You're going to be able to survive better in the storms. Okay, you can have 220, 200, what the heck? I mean, it's late at night right now as I'm recording this, but what's a 200, 225 points maximum stamina. All right. Now, of course, to unlock the potbelly stove, you're going to need the cooking station. So let's have a quick look at what's in there as well, because obviously you're going to gain access to this stuff too. Now, first of all, you're going to get access to animal fat. This is needed to craft one of the recipes i think it's one maybe two of the recipes we just went through so that's just raw meat in the cooking station you can make yourself some animal fat very easy you have creamed corn which i've already done a video on on the channel that one needs water animal fat and corn that one gives you 75 stamina 150 health and 10 uh, st uh, stamina less is used while you're doing things that's a 15 minute buff then you also have wild salad this will need pumpkins and squash gives you 100 food is again 15 minutes it's wild salad modifier for 15 minutes takes a space in your stomach 150 extra stamina 10 percent exposure resistance again you can stack these don't forget and 10 percent melee damage lastly fruit salad wild berries and watermelons 100 food when consumed gives you the fruit salad modifier for 15 minutes consumes one space in your stomach 75 health 75 stamina and 10% less consumption for your oxygen and your water. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that subscribe button. We're building an Icarus community. Hopefully we will all know everything at some point. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure they'll keep changing it. But let me know down in the comments how you stack your foods, which ones you stack to do different things. And also, if you want me to do some tutorial videos on which foods to stack to get the best, say, health, the best uh, oxygen the best uh, all-around balance just let me know let me know down in the comments or jump into discord and uh, i'd love to hear from you guys i'm really enjoying making these videos hopefully you're enjoying watching them too i'll speak to you in the next one as usual don't let the bears get you okay don't die by the bears i'll see you in the next video or on my live stream on calamites games whatever see you soon